Remember, this was the fabric that we used to do the buckle, so I wanted my belt to be out of this fabric as well. So what I have done, I mean, I've cut a piece that's actually about six inches wide. And so what this is going to do is when I fold this in half, it's going to end up being three inches, and then I'm going to sew a small seam allowance, and then that'll give me my two and a half. And I want my belt to have a point, so I'm going to turn this right sides together, and I'm going to sew my point. So to do your point, and I don't want my point um, straight, so I'm doing it like this. You see, I, I put a little curve on it. Instead of making it straight, I want it to curve around. We're going to sew the belt. And I'm sewing just inside my line. And you're going to sew this all the way down to get to the other side. Well, I've stitched my belt in place. See, I've got my little rounded edge there, and I've stitched it all the way down. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it. This is going to be a little challenging but you can turn it. So see, just flip it and turn it. I'm just gonna keep flipping and keep turning until I get it turned all the way around. So now I've finished sewing the, the belt. You can see I've got a nice rounded edge because I didn't want, I didn't want it to be straight. I want it to be kind of rounded, have a little character. And the other end, you see I left it open. So now this fabric, I can put a cover over and I can press it because I want to press it uh, lightly so we can do our top stitching on the belt. So now the belt has been pressed and what we're going to do now is I'm going to start with the raw end. I have changed my sewing machine and now I've added an upholstery thread because I want this stitch to be raised and thick looking. So I'm going to set my stitch on the, light, the, the longest stitch or like a gathering stitch. And I'm simply going to top stitch um, my belt in place. So. so now as you see, I started doing a top stitch. And I want you to see how the uh, button thread makes it look really nice on the outside. So I'm putting the button thread on the outside and the regular thread underneath and I'm just going to top stitch this all the way around from one go up in a U shape down and back up. I've completed doing the top stitch on my belt and I've done it all the way across both sides cut all the loose threads. Okay now we're ready to attach the buckle. So we're going to take our buckle and we're going to take the belt and we're going to insert the belt inside the buckle and you're going to get just enough fabric to throw it inside kind of like that and then so then you're going to take the fabric and you can see this belt's going to stay in place and then you're going to take this and we're going you can either tuck this inside like this or you can just overlap it like that but what I think I'm going to do like I said nobody's going to see this anyway this is a part that the belt's going to cover I'm just going because my fabric doesn't unravel so I'm just going to simply sew it down flat so I got one set of stitching here across this way so now I'm going to go to the machine I'm going to flip the buckle and we're going to top stitch a little thick so you may have to help it along a little bit yeah. and there's your belt happy sewing